All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakaq with us. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to all the Akim are here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, there is a never ending supply of wicked people in this world. Okay, and uh, reason why, okay, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, okay, the wicked are the so-called um, white people, which are biblically known as the Edomites or Esau, okay, so they control the world, okay, um, which, when the wicked control the world, okay, they're able to make it seem like they're, they were always the, the good guys, okay? And uh, in that wicked world, you have what is called a dystopia, okay? Which, a dystopia is an imaginary place where people lead dehumanized and often fearful lives okay so america and the world okay is this definition says an unimagined an uh, imagined place or state in which everything is unpleasant or bad okay and it's a lot of stuff that's that's bad in this uh this world okay now it's a scripture Where it talks about when the wicked are in authority. Um, Proverbs 22, 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked birth rule, the people mourn. Okay? And people are mourning in this, uh, this world. Okay? Um, it's another one. Um, Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. But the righteous shall see their fall. Okay? It says the righteous shall see their fall. But when you have a lot of people who are wicked, okay? Then a lot of transgression is going to gonna increase. Okay? So... The the thing is, man. Okay, it's a lot of um, a lot of wicked people out here in this world, man. Okay, is the book of uh, Hosea four and one. Okay, talks about what's going on. Uh, Hosea four and one. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, okay, here in America, there is no truth being spread, okay? It says, nor mercy, okay, nor knowledge of God in the land. Okay, it says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, these are the things that people do, okay? Out here in Baltimore, you know, people, you got people that, you know, murdered people and they still walk in the streets, Okay? And, and, you know, they, they basically got out, you know, uh, for free from off, off of uh, Esau society. Okay, it says, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore, saw the land mourn, right? Because it's a lot of uh, trash in, in these cities, man. Okay. Not just in, in America, but, you know, all throughout the world. Okay, but mainly here in America, you know, it's, it's a lot of, you know, pollution. It says, and everyone that dwells therein shall languish. See what this word languish, okay, is a, a mall, okay, in the Hebrew. Okay, is, it means to be weak, to droop, to be exhausted. Okay.
uh, it says uh, uh, to be sick also. Okay, you have a lot of people out here that are sick. Okay, it says with the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Okay, let no man strive nor reprove one another because people aren't out here correcting anybody. Okay, the only ones that are correcting anybody, okay, are us, okay. So, you know, Hebrew Israelites telling our people what's going on and where they're going off at, okay. It says, for your people are as they that strive with the priests. But when we tell them this, okay, you know, they don't want to listen to it. Okay, it says, therefore shalt, th shalt thou fall in the day and the prophet also shall fall with you in the night, and I will destroy your mother. Okay, it's a lot of a lot of uh, single family um, homes out here. Okay, uh, in in America. Okay, just the whole course of everything is is out of whack, man. Okay, I was thinking earlier. Okay. That, you know, a lot of these guys out here, they like sagging their pants, you know, and, and when, if a guy is sagging their pants, you got to know that first off, that's weird, okay, that, uh, that that man is, uh, feminine, and, uh, he's a mama's boy, okay, there ain't no real man gonna be sagging their pants, man, showing off their ass, okay, but you try to tell them that, pull your pants up, you know, they'll only listen to that if some older older person said it. You know, and more than likely an older lady, because they ain't gonna listen to it if, a, if another man says it. You know? It said Proverbs 30 and 12. There is a generation that is pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Okay? Because people people in this 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 uh society, okay, this world, okay. They just want to do their own thing, you know. They they don't want to um do the right thing, you know. When they when they do something, they feel as though that they're justified from off of what they do, okay. And they they're not going to try to clean up any any of their act, okay, because that's just how how people are out here in this world are, okay. Um, let me get this, Luke. 16 and 15 and you and he said unto them you are they which justifies yourself before men and a lot of people out here they do that they try to justify themselves before other people okay um but but god knows your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of god so these people who feel as though that they're right in their own eyes okay a lot of people would, would, you know, would side with them and say that they're right for doing what they do. Nobody is correcting any of the, the problems, okay, that's in this world, okay? And when you do correct, you know, they, they and, and, and you teach them what the scriptures say, you know, they don't want to listen. This is uh, 2 Ezra 7 and 41. Even so now, seeing corruption is grown up, it's a lot of corruption out here, man, Okay? And wickedness increased, and the righteous have prayed for the ungodly. You have people out here, you know, who think that you're supposed to pray for everybody. Okay? No, you pray that they get destroyed, man. It says, Wherefore shall it not be so now also? He answered me and said, This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore they have prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for for to come wherein corruption is past. Because that's what we're looking for, man. Okay? A new heaven and a new earth away from all of this wickedness. Okay? Because this, this society is going to get, this world is going to get destroyed. Okay? Um, Genesis 6 and 5, and I'm going to go back to that. And God, Yahweh Samuel Shah, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. 
So these these times, okay, are continuing to happen, man. Okay? It like it happened before. Okay? R Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay? So when we go through the scriptures and we see that, you know, back then people, you know, was, you know, doing wickedly. And you see today, right? You you learn from it. It says, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repents me that I have made them. Okay, and you got, you got, you know, even the animals out here that are fucked up, man. Okay? Because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? It says, and temperance is at an end. Okay, because people out here don't have a balance. Okay? That's going to get cut off. Okay? There's a lot of people ODing. Okay, on, on literally everything, man. Okay. It says, infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. Okay. And as we continue to go on, okay, in this, this society, this world, okay, Things are going to get um, more hard, okay? The so-called white man is going to try to oppress us even more, okay? To try to, uh, you know, keep us in that slave state, okay? You got people that, that are going to, you know, fall, fall for it. But those that are meant, you know, they're going to get that victory, okay? That, that major win. Okay, but the people who, who who don't understand what's going on, they get go, they're going to get caught up in the in the in the craziness, man. Okay. Uh Let me get this. Uh Romans 1 and 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are, your, who are the Israelites according to the Bible. It says, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Okay? Not, not, not having proper judgment. It says, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, Malignity, okay. I'm going to this word malignity. Bad character, okay. Depravity of heart and life, which your heart is your mind, okay. It says malignant subtility, okay. Maliciousness, uh, malicious craftiness, okay. A lot of people out here have extremely bad characters, man. Okay, the whole makeup of how that person is created is just a horrible being, man. Okay, it says malignity whispers. People like to talk, talk shit behind people back, man, all the time. Okay, but they wouldn't dare tell it to, to their face, man. It says backbiters, haters of God, okay. Which, you know, it's Yahweh by Shemuel Asa. It says, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Okay? Disobedient to parents, without understanding, covet, coveted breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them okay so the people who do these things be having pleasure in the people that that uh that that do them 
Okay, they love the fact that people be, you know, doing wicked stuff, man. Okay, instead of actually doing the right thing. Okay, nobody out here wants to do the right thing, man. That's why the Lord, okay, is going to destroy this place. Okay, like like the scriptures in Genesis 6 and 7 says that the Lord destroyed man. Okay, because they're, they're, they have a corrupt mind. Okay. It's a never ending supply, okay? You hear you have a story of uh you know two uh niggas shooting each other, okay? And then guess what? You hear another story, you know, a couple days later, okay? Probably even the same day. So it's like where the heck are these niggas coming from and you know what what is being done to uh you know change what's going on. But nobody is, is doing that. Okay, that's why the Lord has to destroy this place and bring order onto this planet. Okay, so with that, man, I want to say, Salawah.